What we're doing today, if you missed it, we are going to do Bloodborne no leveling. I have never done a non-leveling run before. I think it'll be easy. <laughs> Also, I'm gonna level my weapon, by the way. I don't know if I'm gonna use consumables. I would be open to using like fire paper and bolt paper, but I don't really wanna use like throwables or anything like that because the point of this run is to practice for the deathless run. Let's just get right into it, guys. I feel like I've learned a lot of bosses really well. I don't think I'm gonna first try everything, but I really don't think it'll be as hard as it could be. Take at least 10 streams, 50 hours. You guys think it'll take me 50 hours when I can get through one deathless attempt in nine hours? Do you guys think I should use a saw cleaver? I think we shouldn't handicap ourselves anymore. Oh, wow, that's way faster. Am I crazy or is that immediately way faster than the ax? Wait, there's- wait, huh? Oh, there's no spin to win? Okay, that fight was not worth that. <laughs> yeah, I already struggle with current. <laughs> Orphan of costs, however, will be very easy. Dude, Ebrietis, the reason- let me tell you why I'm not that stressed out about that stuff. Ebrietis, the only moves that kills me in Ebrietis' fight is the one-shot moves. Like, uh, the charge. She has, like, two charge moves that always get me. And those one-shot me anyway, even in a regular run. So they're gonna one-shot me then, they're gonna one-shot me now. Whatever, attempt to do a god run. Like a hitless god run. I hate this arena. Man, the sock cleaver definitely feels very clean to use. Oh yeah, the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch them copyright the screaming too. I think Sekiro is the best Souls game if you count Sekiro. Yay, this is so easy, guys. This is so easy. Oh my gosh, this is so easy. So for me, I think Elden Ring is definitely among the better Souls games. The issue with Elden Ring, however, is that I'm not a huge fan of open world. I sometimes like open world games, actually. I really love the Zelda open world games, but sometimes, I don't know. I did like Elden Ring's open world too, but I definitely sometimes get a little bit overwhelmed. So for me personally, I did love Elden Ring and all that. I think I would pick Sekiro over Elden Ring. We don't even have to farm in this run. This is so fun and easy. Okay, I always fight him on the stairs. Let's try to not and see how it goes. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't that parry? I thought I could parry like mid combos. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm bad at this fight. <laughs> you respect me for choosing to. What do you mean? This run will be easy peasy. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. Oh my god, it's this one move every time. What the fuck? 
Mur Murgo is probably gonna be hard as f to be honest. Cause I also don't know Murgo. I just beat her by fighting her at the very end. I played Blasphemous. You know what? Who's gonna be hard? The One Reborn is gonna be so hard. Like I straight up think I would struggle more on the One Reborn than I would on Bloodwig. Not the wombo combo again. <laughs> Yay, cool. I'm shooting them, I don't care. I don't care, I'm shooting them. I really feel like Bloodborne is easier casually. Like I really feel like on my first playthrough of Bloodborne, it was okay casually and I didn't struggle that much. I don't super remember to be honest, but I think that's how that went. But for the deathless runs, dude, it's so much worse. I don't know why. See, like this guy, for example, when I practice him, I really feel like you just have to avoid even getting touched because of the poison. It's not like every single fight you play in this game is like trading. How am I gonna do Orphan? No, I think Orphan and Ludwig are not going to be the hardest. I stand by it, honestly. Like maybe it'll be harder than I expect, but I really think some of those other guys are gonna be harder, like Parl and like One Reborn. Maybe Shadows of Yarnum, but I, I've kind of learned some strats with Shadows of Yarnum. I think Parl is gonna be one of the worst. I'm really nervous. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I would have had that if my weapon was long. I thought my weapon was extended so I could attack him from a bit farther and then it wasn't, bro. Oh, come on. I way prefer the longer axe for the longer saw cleaver. Why did they just lock off there? Is it hard to parry? Yeah, without practice, it's really hard. Also, a bot, a Bloodborne enemy AI is just like so dumb for some reason. I don't understand why. Guys, you know what I've been thinking about? Animators? Oh my god, dude. I hope animators get paid well because I don't understand how animating things works. Like, I can understand animating like Paper Mario, like just a 2D image, but how the hell does any of this work? I have no idea. Do animate- like, why don't animators get paid more?
I hate when he does this, it's so dramatic. Why did that happen? Are you just supposed to walk off? I thought you were supposed to go off. The Ringed City, which is, oh again, that's the twin princess, the two demon princes, and Gale. No, Gale, oh, Gale Halfway Medir. I think that the demon princes aren't excruciatingly hard, and I think that Medir is not bad, and I think that half Light sucks, but he sucks because I'm bad at him. I don't think the average person is that bad at him. Yeah, I don't think the Ring City is the worst thing ever. No, I don't really enjoy demon. I enjoy demon when I'm like, properly level. Like, I don't think I've ever lost a deathless run to the demons. Yeah, half Light is such a- like compared to what's the other one? The other one has Frida. I kind of think the Madeir on the bridge is harder than the Madeir in the actual room. <laughs> Grave Ten. The area is kind of hard to be honest. Like Frida was harder for me than Orphan of Cause. That was so tough, dude. Do you guys think Demon Souls is better than Lords of the Fallen? I kind of feel like both of those games feel a little bit like a first Souls game. Like doesn't know what they're doing kind of experience. I feel like both of Demon Souls and Lords of the Fallen kind of feel like someone tried to make a Souls game. Messing around a little bit. Did some experimental things. Because it's the first Souls games. Yeah, that's fine. I'm still comparing them. Maybe it's not super fair to compare. But just for the sake of the discussion. Okay, pretend like there's no Umbral. I'm not saying like which one deserves more happiness. Because it pioneered Souls. I'm just saying the game on its own for what it is, which one is better? I don't really like Demon's Souls as a game. Yeah, a game, yeah, sure, it pioneered it, sure. They wouldn't be them without Demon's Souls, sure. That's not what the question is. The question is funness level. And the funness level of Demon's Souls is pretty low for me. Maybe I'll like it more going back to it, maybe. I will give that a chance for sure, but. Ah. Uh... Plink, oh plink. What was it? The plonk? The plunk? Or the horrible pleep? Oh, it doesn't matter. It always comes down to the Plank ER's helper to clean up after these sort of messes. Tonight, Malam joins the hunt. Guys, let me tell you guys the lore of this guy right here. This poor guy who stands right here. So he's actually standing here because his wife and his kids were trying to run away from the werewolves. And they said they were going to go through this gate and they're going to go find the doctor. And that they were going to come back and, and uh, let him know. And he was going to stand here and wait for them. And they unfortunately died to the Scarlet Rock. They never had reunited again. How sad is that? <laughs> it's tragic. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's talk about the lore of Hemwick. So Hemwick is the lady village. That's where all the ladies go. But unfortunately, they're all crazy, right? It's because um, everyone died. So all of their families died. So they stopped like doing anything, but everyone's crazy here. So they just like talk to each other, but they all go even more crazy because everyone's crazy. And there's one ogre man at the top just because he, he, uh, uh. So the ogre at the top is one of those nice guys who feel compelled to help the woman, like protect them and all that, even though the woman could probably beat up the ogre in one chance if they had the chance. But the ogre feels compelled because he's such a nice guy. This one right here, he's so nice. And then every day he complains that nice guys finish last and women don't want nice guys. That's the lore of this village. The mean Girls remake? No. I didn't watch the Mean Girls remake. Didn't it just come out like today? Uh, it's a musical, but it's not a remake. The musical's been out on Broadway for a while now. They just put it in, in like the theaters, like the movie theaters. I am not even a theater kid. I actually really like musicals. Honestly, the ending of Mamma Mia was confusing. Yeah, so Mamma Mia is a movie built around ABBA music. So the story isn't really like the most realistic story or anything like that. <laughs> My sister's boyfriend hates Mamma Mia and I love Mamma Mia, but he's like, yeah, like this doesn't even make sense. Why would they ever do this? It's like, okay, well, like, oh, you can tell that it's just made around ABBA songs. Well, that's fun though, isn't it? Okay, the first attempt isn't like, wow, you died. I went in with like five health and didn't have any uh, healing. I just went so they could teleport it back. It's witches, so. I stand by the gimmicky ganky fights will be the hardest. Oh yeah, I saw Hairspray too. I really liked Hairspray. Musical video games. Oh, I loved High School Musical too. 
I loved High School Musical. Yeah, I could try backstabbing. I don't know, man. I think musicals are so good if the music is good and it's usually good. Yeah, right, Lord? Yeah, no, I don't mind musicals. I heard a lot of people are going to the Mean Girls in the theaters and when the first song comes on, they're like, uh, like, why are you going then? <laughs> Don't go watch it if you're gonna complain. Hamilton blew your mind, why? Who's the guy who said they didn't like Hamilton? I wonder why. To be honest, I don't care at all for politics and I don't care at all for history. Those are like my two least favorite things in the world. But I love the Hamilton. And yeah, I'm not even a theater kid. I think when music is good, the music is good. A lot of musicals have really, really good music in it. That's why I say that. Yeah. The annoying fans, oh yeah. It's definitely like that for everything in the world. <laughs> Even Souls games, Souls games are fine, but the really bad fans, I give theater vibes. No, I'm not a theater kid. A Glee fan? I never watched Glee, no. But I would like Glee, I think. The original Wonka, no. It doesn't have any music in it. Oh, it does? I don't remember. Where, where was their music? Oh, like the Oompa Loompas when they sing a little song when someone goes crazy. No, I wouldn't say that counts. Oh my God, the Riverdale. Dude, I never watched Riverdale, but my I had a friend who watched Riverdale and she made us exclusively watch the musical episodes. And it was the funniest stuff I've ever seen in my life. It was so funny. What they did to the, River the Riverdale actors is like the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. It must have been a social experiment by the end. <laughs> I don't understand what the hell was going on. The musical episode was so funny. Yeah, they do a little song when a kid dies, like a little jingle. I think that's more of like an Oompa Loompa little charm as opposed to a song. Am I gonna explain the Riverdale episode? Uh, I don't remember enough to explain it. It was just so funny. It was like very obviously these actors who don't sing and a lot of actors don't sing, but these ones like specifically, they don't sing. They didn't even try. The lyrics were weird. Everything was weird. They look like they're 35. I think they are older than high school, but that's like every show. Every show's high school kids are like super old. Yeah, I think in this run, this managing my stamina is gonna be so hard. Willy Wonka is a musical? I don't remember the music in it. I also like uh, The Wizard of Oz. That's a musical, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, I'm a big fan of musicals, especially when the mu music is good. And people are like, yeah, it ruins immersion. You don't just break into song in real life. Okay, can you have some fun or something? Like what? Like, are you crazy? <laughs> I hate that argument, dude. Just stop watching musicals. Hamilton was kind of cool and unique because like, it's not that they broke into song, but like every single line in the whole show was a song, I think. If you listen to the soundtrack on Spotify, it's like the entire script basically. So that's a little different, I think, but I think that's pretty cool. Oh, insane. Oh, hell yeah. That was pretty sick, dude. That was pretty sick. Dude, every boss that has a charge attack, it's always broken. It's always broken. Whoa, 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 please, whoa. Whoa. Can we get Amelia lore? Yes, okay, so Amelia was this um, priest lady who would be the priest lady and she was praying and all that. And then Miko Lash turns her into like this giant teddy bear with weird hair that looks like paper mache. She's so pissed about it and she doesn't even want to look at herself because she's pissed about it. So she wears a blindfold and she's mad at you because you'd come to kill her for no reason, to be honest. She was just minding her own business and we came to kill her. So I'd be mad too. <laughs> she's so real for that, so true. I will say, and I've said this before, Bloodborne has some of the better grab hitboxes in the series. I feel like Sekiro would make me die to that. Man, at least I like Amelia. I can't imagine how fun it's gonna be when I get to some dumbass. Oh, Amygdala. Amygdala's gonna be a, a hard one. Yeah, Amygdala's gonna suck. Amygdala every time is just a trade fight. I'm gonna test how much better a fire paper is. I don't really think fire paper is that much better. 
Oh, come on! Uh oh. Yeah, I knew that was gonna get me. I hate that move. Oh, that did not touch me! I didn't even know she had a move like that, to be honest. See, dude, the rumbling on the ground staggers my guy. But honestly, like, this is really good practice for the deathless ones. I'm learning that Amelia is horrible. And her <laughs> tail makes it so I can't see anything. Whoa, I thought she was falling sideways. <laughs> Honestly, a good motivation to practice rallying is just not farming anymore. <laughs> or having to farm less. Wow, that actually is a lot more damage. God. Wait, that was the sickest ending of all time. I didn't even know I was at her head. I thought I was at her butt. I didn't how the hell did I visceral her? All right, so Forbidden Woods. Honestly, that's okay. I grabbed the items. I kind of want to see if I can level them up. These peanuts are so goofy. You guys can't deny those definitely look like peanuts. Wait, is it not here? That's where I came from. Is it there? Is that the house right there? Okay, so that exact same thing happened last time, didn't it? I'm not used to this guy killing me like that all the time. Is my money now gone or is it still there? What makes BL4 people not clear full areas of mobs? Yeah, you just run. Why would you clear full areas of mobs? Other than for money or whatever. Whoa. Oh, He didn't one shot me. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie guys. This is as bad as it always is. Aggie said his health usually gets to 40 by the time he's done his runs. And mine gets to like 26 or something. So maybe that's why. Oh my God. Okay. Nice jump, bro. It's a different demographic. Yeah, it's just little babies or something who <laughs> don't care about this shit being in their ears all the time, bro. What? How is that not a pair? That was like purple. 
I thought that was gonna get me. Yes! Oh, sick. Oh, sick. Okay. Bro, as soon as the snakes get here, those big snakes, this is over for me. You know what I like about Lies of P is that you can like actually set enemies on fire. Can you do that in this game? And they like take fire damage for a little longer too. It's so satisfying. Oh my god, my strat is so f good. Oh my god, yes. I knew it wouldn't be that bad because it's the same as a regular run. Because everyone does so much damage to you all the time anyway. All right, time for Rom and Bergenworth. This is a DLC key item? No. This? What item on the floor? The DLC key item is from the... The... Hub. I'm gonna be so pissed if I don't die to Rom. Okay, so I'm actively doing more damage to them than I do on my deathless run, that's great. But yeah, they're gonna one-shot me, yeah. The spiders do a lot of damage. You think Demon Souls is worse than DS2? Funny you mentioned that. We were just talking about Demon Souls. Rom, even in a regular leveling run, is like about extreme patience. Unless you're using a shit ton of crazy buffing and all that, which I never am. Other than like I'll die a little more often, this is gonna be like the same as usual. Yeah, that's a little less damage with the fire paper. No pleep, I won't. I'm fine without it. That's the thing, like, you only like it for what it like represents and what it is in the grand scheme of things. But if you're if you're looking at just the game on its own, it's not a great game. I like the hub. I really like the hub. I do think it's cool that there's like levels. I don't think Demon Souls is like the worst game of all time, to be honest. I think I like Demon Souls more than I like Dark Souls 2. It's just like less irritating. Dark Souls 2 is just straight up irritating. Nexus is amazing, I'll agree with that. I love the Nexus. That damage is pretty nice. Yeah, the Nexus is the coolest uh, hub, I think. I might appreciate it more after the Deathless runs, I will be honest. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't though. I just like, when there's an irritating area, the way you help that is by having a great boss. And Dark Souls 2 and Demon Souls both struggled with that. A lot of stuff about Souls game bothers me, like getting lost and getting ganked and etc etc. I wonder if I can just fire paper ROM now. Maybe that's stupid. Stuck on Ludwig. Shit ton of hunters and mobs. 
Are you asking for a suggestion on how to proceed or something? Yeah, Ludwig's a toughie, dude. How long you been stuck on him for? Artificially difficult, I agree. If anyone's thinking, wow, this is kind of slow and boring, this is exactly how the deathless runs go. Except I'm a, a barely more aggressive. Hitless is like this too, yeah. So far, this run has been very similar to my deathless runs. Very exciting. It's exactly as I thought it would be. Because Bloodborne is just like that, bro. Everything is out to destroy you. That thing that I keep describing is what you're talking about that I don't know how to explain that like feeling that like you don't know when you get attacked because nothing happens it's like I don't, yeah it doesn't break your poise so sometimes i'm like it's annoying when they break my poise or just like something let something happen do some indication that i'm getting hit because i can't tell and then randomly i'm like wait my health said zero i didn't even realize i feel like if i do fire paper i mean depending on how much damage i do this phase maybe i can do this phase and not have to clear out the babies in the last phase you didn't beat this boss oh yeah you got stuck on it and then you said F this game honestly it's so true Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> yeah, Seb. I feel like I probably tried that on my casual runs. I feel like it's more fun that way, too. It's just too risky. Unless you have a shit ton of damage. <gasps> Whoa, what did I just do? Okay, never mind. I definitely have to kill the babies. Rom's tail is cringe. There should be friendly fire on Rom. I like that the forest spiders are like extremely low FPS. How do I f hit her? That's a lot of damage. My parents are so proud of me with streaming. I think it's sick. It, she acts like every time I hit her, it feels like I staggered or something. Or sometimes she kind of reacts like that. People are like, oh, someone discovered this this opening to chess. I'm like, what do you mean someone discovered that? Didn't everyone know that you could do that? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. I'm so scared, dude. I don't want to do this again. There we go, second try. That's not so bad, guys. This is exactly how it goes on my deathless attempts. <laughs> All right, now it's Parl time, is it? Oh, Parl's gonna be a big wall for me. Would fire paper do anything against this boss? Honestly, that's the same damage that he always does to me. Fine. What the hell? Can you attack? Oh, the dog, the little tail wagging. It's cute. Oh, I thought he can't attack if it's not electric. easier than my deathless run bro this is like so easy all right who's next marty the boy Dang. thanks buddy guys i remembered i remembered all of my own guys i remembered all of my own let's go and i don't even have a flashlight central yarn sefka's clinic Oh, that your shit sock? Oh, yeah, I know you. I've heard of you. I'm not calling you that, though. <laughs> I know exactly where to get one more chunk. I know exactly where. I know exactly where. Ow. No, don't kill. Don't kill. 
Ew. Ew, he's disgusting. Oh yeah, that's not even the one I was talking about, but that works too. Two blood chunks. Oh yeah. Let's see what we're working with here, Marty. I will not be playing the cutscene. I think I might die from the quick melee moves. Those kind of startle me a little bit. Yeah, like that. Oh my god, to the spammer! Because I jumped, it's because I jumped. Oh my god, this. Oh no, but I was... I planned that out properly! You're such a cheater! You're such a cheater! I deserve that! I just... Oh, how did you do that? He keeps getting me with the fuck. Okay, actually every time, actually every time with the same shit. Okay, I don't know what- why did he just fall? Why did he just fall? Hi, little Aggie. Thanks for the 16 months, dude. Oh my god, bro. Aggie, look what I figured out. Oh. No! You don't have to clip it, he's right there. Ow, Scar! Why is she attacking me? Scar, what are you doing with your feet? She's hurting me. I didn't know she was doing She's that. She's kicking Scarlet. me. That's me. Doesn't she act like she hates me on stream? Dude, tell them she's actually kind of nice to me off stream. Yeah, she's just acting tough. Dude, she literally sleeps next to my head. Scarlet, the baby. And then she punches me on stream. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying to be more passive this time.
really generous. Oh no! What? I have to surf the parry. up on it. Oh. There it is. Honestly, I won because that's how I play on my deathless runs. Like, that's so f dumb. You know what I'm gonna do? I just wanna test out the one reborn. Whoa. What the hell did he just do? Why did he spin around? Why? I like these ladies, they're kind of bad bitches. Okay, is that even continuing? I hate when he fights me up here, just like wait for me down there. Is it better to break his limb and then break the next limb while he's down? Or is it better to go to his head and attack the head when he falls down? Yeah, I can break while he's down. Is that better though than attacking the head? Because doesn't the head do like omega damage? Wow, that was really fast. Why didn't it break then? Why did I just jump? So easy. Mwah. So easy. So I'm not, so here's what I have to say about this run. I think this run, at least for now, this run is easier than my deathless run. The damage in this run is like really nice. Because I thought that this would be really difficult, right? And because of that, I let myself use the saw cleaver and also the bolt paper slash fire paper. So I do like way more damage than I do in my regular runs. Yeah, I also take way more damage, but not really even. Like people one shot me all the time, but this guy would have one shot me on my deathless run anyway. Go, buddy, go. Wait, what? Doesn't he go in there? Isn't he supposed to go in there? What the hell? He wombo comboed me? Dude. Oh. My god, Grave Tender at BL4 or like level one would literally be a bajillion times harder than Cost at BL4. Why did he just turn around? <laughs> that would be so bad. That would be so bad. I <laughs> like when you slap him around. that thing in the middle right there, that cage. Oh, darn is bad too. 
Fudge. Fudge this. Fudge Mikolash. Is a hunter even, even in, in a, a dream? Ah, <sighs> oh, cos. Or some say cosm. Do you hear? We are. Skeletons are watching from the outside. That's cute. The cosmos of. Okay, why did that not fully kill me? Stop! New ideas of the higher plane. Of course. Stop spamming. Wait, dude, am I? Why? I'm pressing it. I'm not even out of stamina. Like, I'm. I just pressed it twice. Is it because I'm playing through the game capture and it's different this time? Like, I have to spam it. Why? No, there's no way it's broken. I'm not... Ah! Yay! We did it! Ah! We did it, guys! Let's go! <laughs> and honestly, I don't regret using the gun because I would have died again, for sure. All right, let's head on over to the amygdala. And we have the tonsil stone. Hey. Stop. Grab me, save me, save me, save me. See, like, dude, this is how much damage amygdala does to me on a deathless run anyway. Oh my god, so no! Moving away when she stomps isn't so bad. Okay, except for that. How am I supposed to know where she's gonna land, dude? Whoa! You get up! Oh, I'd go viral over that, you think? <laughs> My rally back isn't that much, honestly. I, don't, I really don't even think it's worth rallying. Oh, wait, what just happened? Damage is quite low on the tail. Is there tail armor? Is that just my damage? Oh, they're armored? Wait, so I can fight her like this, but it's just gonna take me five years? Wait, why would they do that? That's so rude. What the hell? Whoa. How did that happen? Oh my god. Sorry, I made the line bullying her. an arm back here so it's not as bad as it could be damn I 
This is like kind of harder to be honest. I didn't mean to dodge roll there. Yeah, I don't know if this is the vibe. Maybe if I played it a bit better. I mean, the strat I think is to do this until she jumps, right? And then you hit the head. Not a bad strat. I don't mind strats for bad bosses. Ow. Dub is a dub, even in a dream. Next we have Upper Cathedral Ward and Celestial Mystery. I'm terrified of Celestial Mystery, honestly. Get out of my way! Bro, why isn't he att attacking? Why does it hurt? It's supposed to hurt because it plumps you. It makes your lips big and red and fat, which is the goal. Any wolves? Oh, okay. The camera, the camera, dude. One other thing about Bloodborne. Not only is the AI so stupid, the camera, this is the worst camera in every FromSoft game. This is the worst camera in every FromSoft game. Mark my words. Yeah, I did it! People told me I can do this through here. How? How? Open the door! <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. That is the worst enemy in the entire game. Hello! Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, now I need to get the key. Oh, I don't need to get the key. Ah, oh, that was so easy, guys. All right, so I'm gonna just go in and just see what we're working with. Well, the living failures, I can parry, so it's not as bad. I mean, I can maybe parry these guys too, but... Okay, I thought he was just going like up and down or something. Why does the baby- why does the little baby do half my health? Okay, my guy just jumped. My guy just jumped. My guy just jumped, by the way. Dude, why did these guys actually just hang out? It's so goofy. Dude, he's sick. Chosen one. He's actually sick at dodging. Change is so early. Love when I just jump. Stuck. Yay! Oh, that was awesome! Go! 
guys, wait, that wasn't even that bad. Wait, that was, wait, guys, that wasn't so bad. Okay, now it's time for Ebriotis. I'm gonna give a few tries. I don't really think I'm gonna do her very quickly and then I'm gonna go to the bathroom. All right, what's the best one? Who's actually next, Ludwig? Maybe we should just go to Ludwig and see how much worse he is. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy for sure, okay? I'm not. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy even a little bit. I'm not saying that. I just need a break from Ebrietta's. Dude, for easy! Oh my god, this is gonna be so easy. I told you guys! But I hate when that, uh, hurt to work with. What the hell is that? What? Why is my weapon at risk? Sorry. You will never convince me. I'm not gonna lie, after having a little more experience with Bloodborne, I really think that Bloodborne doesn't really rank with the highest anymore. I think I like the Souls series more. I do really like the setting of this game and I like the aesthetic a lot more than the Souls games. I really think the level of the bosses is just better in other games. In Dark Souls 3, for example, every boss that you can get excited for is good, other than like Deacons and like Grave Tender. But on average, most of the bosses are good. The Sekiro ranks probably number one. But I do like the way this looks. If this looked like, like I would love another game that looks like this, honestly. I'm over castles and kings and queens and swords and knights. In phase two, the minute you get far, it's over for you. By you, I mean me. I'm gonna try and lock on, to be honest, cause it's kind of hard for me to do both. Yeah, I played Liza P. Not only did I play it, but I played it. I had a whole article written about my run. I'm gonna try the lock on strat. I told you guys it wouldn't be so bad. I told you guys. Okay, so the strat for phase two is obviously lock on, 
Remind me that when we get to uh, the Deathless runs to lock on. Huh? Oh boy. Scar. Oh my god, she's meowing. Guys, the baby. <laughs> the baby. Carly, guess what? I just beat this hard boss. Ah, Scar. No, Scarlet, no. Scarlet. Who's next? Living failures. Coffee made friend. You know what I hate about that coffee made stuff? Like, why does it not expire? Because you don't keep it in the fridge, right? How does that work? Like, why doesn't it expire? What the hell is that stuff? Oh, I, I, okay, it's a one shot. So what is, what is that stuff made out of? What's it made out of? First rabbit brotherhood. By the way, if you don't attack the big brother at all, you get one sibling per quarter health of the brother. So hit the brother for a quarter health and then avoid him while the little sibling comes and then kill the little sibling. Some people don't uh, kill the little siblings, but it's way too hard if you get all four people. This streamer looks like Cemetery 50 Cent or what? Did you mean to erase Cemetery? What is that sound of the thing? I'm, I wonder like if I can use that sound to know what's going on behind me. I didn't think that was visceral. Why did that work? Hi R17, what's up? Okay, so it's a little bit annoying that I, they don't have health bars, but I do think it's a sweet surprise when they just die and you weren't expecting it. I don't know how you can read comments while you play. I've been training three years for this. Record past halfway. Okay. No, this is a horrible spot. Wait, why are you alive? Oh my god, I was like, what is that new stagger move or whatever? So what is a counter hit? Is it when I'm attacking or when I'm moving or what? Or when I'm sprinting? Oh yeah, you're gonna die, sorry buddy. Yeah, phase two is easier. Is everyone in Serbia hot? No, it's yes. The answer is yes. On time him out. <laughs> the answer is yes.
are you not dead? Dude, every enemy in this game has a weird butt. not have ended better. Mwah. Ah, time for Maria. Dude, so I really like the way the ocean made my hair like gingery. I actually think it's a really nice color. Um, and it looks nice with my skin color, I think. But then I realized it's kind of getting similar to my old hair color again, which is just fucking brown. And I'm like, no, I want red, even though I think this looks really awesome. Ah, the frames! Woo! She's sick. Oh my gosh, she's so cool. I'm getting distracted! charge stay away from that one no oh wow that's very lucky so cringe that it was 12 hours all right maria gone it was with the cat ears i can't wait for the youtube comments comments on the cat ears <laughs> i think i would do lawrence next i don't really want to do a Briatus, to be honest lawrence is pretty horrific i think a Briatus is worse unless you what do you guys think maybe we should just go knock out a Briatus. honestly the only way to win this in my opinion is just to get lucky and i will say this every single time i swear and i believe that there is no consistent way of dodging that move yeah you can be far enough and run away yeah you can be perfect distance and then dodge to the left sure but there is no consistent way to dodge that move i'm gonna put this in my youtube video thumbnail i'm gonna make it millennia waterfowl <laughs> I would say it's more like this carriage. You don't get umbilical cords from that. <laughs> what do you find any more annoying? Dying. This dumbass charge. Yeah. I wish that her two legs were not two. I wish there was just one leg, because it looks disgusting. Get a breather, gotcha. So do you guys think soul uh, bosses are the best part of Souls games? I 
I might try and avoid hitting the head so that I can uh, stagger on the transformation. Oh, there we go. How did I do that? The gold paper? Wait, she still does it though? For me, it's the bosses. That's why when there's bad bosses, I really get annoyed, like in Dark Souls 2. scream right now because my voice kind of hurts but we did it maybe taking a break is sometimes actually nice and useful all right is it cost time or is it lawrence time okay yeah we can go to cost let's see i'm gonna go see what lawrence is gonna be like i know he's not gonna be perfect but i just like don't i feel like i enjoy the lawrence fight more than i enjoy cost How long do I think Orphan will take a while? Hello Fresh, no, that's fine. Nintendo um, copyright strikes a lot of things on YouTube, but not music, I don't think. It's like any sort of modded challenge, I believe, gets striked. Yeah, it's, it's a good game, Beavis. I think it was another Bloodborne situation recently, but Nintendo does strike themselves to a lot of people. I know Point Crow used to do a lot of Zelda things, but stop because Nintendo would literally completely break their videos. That is of Yarna was not so bad. I have a good strat that works on them in my other one as well. So Eggy stream crash. My stream crashed like two days ago. It might just be random. Not random, but it might just be random. He just got a new graphics card. I wonder if he installed one. Something went wrong. Yeah, and Nintendo hates mods. I don't super blame them. I get why a company might not like mods, but I mean. Dax, thanks for the one year. Oh my God, Dax, congrats. Thank you for the one year. <laughs> Happy one year, dude. Well, does he have his thing open? Does it say if it's what it's from? Talking about Power World? No, we're talking about just Nintendo. They copyright strike a lot of things, like just regular games anyway. Well, Ace, I understand why a company might not want their game completely changed. I get it. It still makes people buy your game. It still makes people play your game and all that. But I understand not wanting something you made messed with. Yeah. If I made a game, I feel like I wouldn't mind people wanting it. That means people are interested in doing things. But I, mean, I can see people not feeling like that.
That was like no sweat at all. That was super no sweat. And I did it half asleep. <laughs> Why do I look like that? I've never seen this before in my life. You know what I should do after I end stream and make a thumbnail for Saturday? That's not a bad idea. My editor won't yell at me. Holy crap. Maybe we should fight Murgo. Get it over with. I don't really want to learn costs tonight. I don't really have the energy for it. I look tired. I am very tired. I'm going to end stream soon. No, it's okay to take days off. I know. I know. Um, I should probably start doing that. I do take days off though. I do. No, see, what I think is like of the YouTube video thing. Like a video getting posted, ev oh, that's good, yeah. Every other week, even if the video is not gonna be the best video, I think that's super important. And I think a lot of people don't agree with that, which is fine. I mean, a lot of people don't even, what, already? I think a lot of people only post videos that they think are incredible, and that's fine. Those people get millions of views. I kind of prefer my strat for me. Anyway, the point of this discussion is because we're saying, oh, well, isn't the point of streaming flexible hours? Not really, to be honest. Not, at least not in my opinion. Like, okay, when I, when I say people take breaks, I don't mean that in the way of like, oh, I'm gonna take every Monday off or whatever, that's fine. I feel like, I really feel like this job is a dream job for a lot of people. And you kind of have to, like, you can't just, like, you have to make sacrifices sometimes. And if you don't agree, okay, that's fine. But in my opinion, missing, I'm gonna try and end stream early tomorrow so I can catch the end of my sister's hanging out for her birthday. But it is, I mean, it's, you kind of have to have some job related aspects of it, you know? I've missed a lot of things because I was like, okay, well, I have to stream because I was just on vacation or whatever. And obviously there's too much sometimes. I think I'm a little too much, sure, but I think some people are, are too little, you know, on the other on the other side. Like just because you're a little tired, you should probably still try and get a stream. I mean, yeah, obviously there's exceptions to my logic here, but that's the way I see it. Like my friends are hanging out tonight and I haven't seen them in a while, but I chose to still stream because I had a sponsor yesterday and I'm gonna have a sponsor tomorrow and I didn't just wanna have two sponsored streams in a row. What do you mean copium? What is their copium to that? Yeah, dodging to the left there is so good. No, it wasn't to do with my energy levels. I actually didn't get tired until after I hung out with my friend. She asked me before. She asked me first when I woke up. It's boss actually pretty easy, yeah. So, I, no, I saw my one friend during the day, but they're hanging out in the evening. Like, they're probably done by now, to be honest. Okay, Murgo's wet nurse. Wait, this boss is kind of easy, actually. When you know what you're doing, this boss is actually not so bad. Finally, the list that no more liars. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I did, Jake. Jake Smith, Sonics. They were so good, Arctic Monkeys. They were so good. He's using his mom's placenta. How cool is that? If you look closely, you can see it's actually attached to his belly. I, I, is that even how that works? But something is attached to his belly. It's about time, to be honest. His mom's placenta. See, why would you say that, Chaos? Before you were counting four prep. Arco seconds, this time you were doing three seconds. And so I was doing it earlier. I wasn't going that far back west, yeah? Like I wasn't really worrying about if he's gonna hit the ground. I was just parrying earlier. That's what I thought. And then Arctic Monkeys announced they were breaking up when? I watched them in the summer. GG's. That was me just kind of going whatever. I'm gonna try the counting strat again. And that was way too early, yeah. One, two, 
three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh! 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 Wait, the counting straw word! We're free! The can it was the counting! It was the counting! all along and now we get to hang out together forever look at us you guys i almost went crazy i almost went crazy you guys don't understand okay let me explain why he's just standing there like that because the game didn't make an animation when they die in phase one i just like don't have the desire to learn another boss right now after orphan I can't really take a break because tomorrow I'm gonna do a sponsor and then I could just do this the next day, I guess. I don't know. I don't really want to though. Why is he facing the wrong direction? I feel like if pinning him against the wall is actually a valid strat. I think someone said that yesterday is a joke. If you have enough stamina. Darn. So scared of the one move. Okay, you can kind of tell when he's gonna do it. He moves back, which is very generous. Such a well-played fight. I'm so proud of myself. I earned that fight. I earned that, dude. Damn. Those parries were so good. The dodges were so good. I was not greedy. My parries were good. Dude. Bro, I fought Moon Presence a total of like three times in my life. I have no idea how to fight it. I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay.
Yo, why was my weapon on max, by the way? On big. Okay, shit. I just have no idea what he's even about to do. Dodge towards hit bounce. What does bounce mean? Dodge towards hit bounce. I'm gonna immediately die now. That is way too generous. Like, I appreciate it, but what the hell kind of move is that? As like a starter, like a tutorial boss maybe to teach you how to rally? But the final boss, why? Maybe I should only hit during that move. Oh. Oh, I thought it was a stagger. Is this a one? Am I gonna die? What is this? What did she just do? Shit, I should have greeted. I would have gotten that if I greeted. Anything but the bombs, anything but the bombs. Not the bombs, though, not the bombs. Am I gonna die? Yeah! We did it! <laughs> Let's go! I can't really scream right now. We're free. <laughs> We're free. We're free. The nightmare is finally over. Now we're a little slug. Wait a minute. Sorry, before I re pause the timer. Ready, guys? Ready? Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Ready, guys? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> no more bosses left! <laughs> we did it, and we didn't level up a single time. I didn't use any consumable except for uh, fire paper and bolt paper. And honestly, bolt paper and fire paper, I think it mostly helped on that final boss. But like, I don't even think it helped on other bosses that much. And I did level my weapon, yeah. We leveled the weapon. We didn't level ourselves. We didn't use beast pellets. We didn't use any other consumables. No throwables. Only fire paper and bolt paper. If you guys missed it, the point of this run was to get prepared for the deathless run. Your hardest challenge run yet. Dude, that was tough. That was tough. Oh my god, that was tough.
The wall, meow, 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 the wall dot meow, the wall, meow, the wall, meow, the wall, meow, the wall.